Tesla in China just increased the Model Y range significantly, but decreased acceleration. Just hours or so ago, Tesla made the change in Made in China Model Y's specs, increasing the range from 525 kilometers to 545 kilometers. That's 20 extra kilometers for the same price, which is an increase of 12.5 miles of range in the Model Y. But Tesla also substantially decreased the acceleration from 5.6 seconds to 6.9 seconds from 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 kilometers. Now, the report came from the Ray for Tesla Twitter account. Ray has been tweeting great Tesla stuff, especially from China. Ray writes this, breaking, made in China Model Y rear wheel drive SR configurator has been revised as follows. CLTC range, 545 kilometers versus previous NEDC range of 525 kilometers, top speed 217 kilometers, which is the same, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour goes to 6.9 seconds versus previous 5.6 seconds. Price unchanged instead of being listed as Model Y rear wheel drive SR, it's now called Model Y rear wheel drive. End of the quote. And Ray shows images from the previous uh, Tesla Model Y specs from the configurator and the current Tesla Model Y specs in the configurator for made in China uh, vehicle. Now, increase the range of the rail wheel drive SR made in China Model Y by 12.5 miles and keeping the same price is good news. But why has the acceleration decreased so much? One user named Tavi commented on the Ray's tweet and says if i'm thinking right about this the top speed being unchanged means there is no decrease in power output in the hardware same drivetrain same battery power so the slower acceleration may be a software limit aimed at driving um, demand toward the long range ray for tesla agreed with this view friends writing possibly yes or owners may have to pay for zero to 100 upgrade later at an extra price i guess that is noticeable loss you know in acceleration uh, from 5.5 to 6.9 seconds uh, in 0 to 100 kilometers um, uh, it's 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 hardly slow but it puts it uh, more into the league of other manufacturers effort it's also the slowest tesla ever made by some way i have to think elon won't let this stand for too long writes another person you know there is another opinion that the slower acceleration was due to physical changes in the motor to make it more efficient at the expense of acceleration capability but this is just an opinion and i have no way to back it up well friends let me know your thoughts what do you think about tesla increasing Increasing the range of the Model Y by 12.5 uh, miles and keeping the price the same but decreasing the acceleration by basically um, one and a half seconds. It's not too slow, but you know, how can we explain the decrease? But it's good news that Tesla is increasing the range of the Model Y. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and also give us thumbs up if you found this report informative and sharing social media we would greatly appreciate it have a great day peace be with all of you and your families god bless you everyone and let's move on to the next tesla story. today tesla finally added waypoints a long requested feature promised over a year ago if you guys don't know what waypoint is many people don't and i didn't know in this report i'm going to tell you what it is and what it does with tesla and how tesla names it actually tesla doesn't call this new feature waypoint as many people can uh, wait it but something gets so waypoint in Tesla's navigation system are a sought-after feature that Tesla owners have been requesting for a long time. Here's what it does. With this feature, it would be possible now for Tesla owners to enter several destinations at once on one trip in the navigation system. So over the years, Tesla has become known for its over-the-air software updates, adding features to its vehicles. You know about this. It's something that previously wasn't standard 
in the automotive industry but tesla software heavy approach made it a no-brainer now now many automakers in fact are starting following tesla's lead and doing the same thing the automaker has used its over-the-air software capacity to improve the user interface and features like navigation but there is one navigation feature that tesla owners have been asking for seemingly long long time that had yet to launch the ability to add waypoints toward a destination today tesla finally released the feature as part of its 2021.40.5 software update that it started pushing to the fleet the automaker wrote about the future it is calling add stop in the release notes so tesla is not calling this new feature a waypoint that is uh, commonly known but it's calling the new feature as add stop tesla add stop and here's how tesla add, uh, re, uh, uh, describes it in the release notes add a new stop to your route by tapping the plus icon on the navigation search button and searching for a destination or selecting a pin on the map now tesla owners are going to be able to use the nati native in-car navigation to enter a destination and add waypoints the same update also includes some of the same features that tesla first started to push last week notes electric like tidal and cold weather improvements um, is any one of you already using the waypoints has your tesla already um, got this new add stop uh, icon a plus sign plus icon let me know friends in the comment section below this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news god bless you everyone give us thumbs up for this video and let's move on to the next tesla i'm leaving store. fsd beta today i was at tesla reddit and i was looking for a good topic to report and then all of a sudden i see this title i'm leaving fsd beta I thought this would be interesting to, to look at because leaving FSD beta is going against the stream because everybody wants to have the FSD added to their Tesla account and then all of a sudden I see this title, I'm leaving FSD beta. This was a discussion that got 723 ops right now on Tesla Reddit and is you know, written by username Leo the Locust on Tesla Reddit and the summary of the article is that there are too many issues with the beta that fsd beta should be called alpha in my humble opinion he says and because i share this vehicle with my wife i'll be requesting to leave the beta the longer version is this i'm going to read why is this person saying he is going to leave fsd beta which has got 723 ops top of the uh, reddit discussions on tesla reddit and also so far at this moment it's getting like 576 comments and growing so he says first off I'll say that I'm a huge fan of Tesla and have owned 2016 Model X P90D and currently own 2021 Model Y LR and some stock. Overall, my wife and I have been overly satisfied with our purchases and investment with Tesla. And then he goes on to critical parts saying the primary issue all the phantom braking while i understand that it's a beta this is just unnerving and scary he says and adds this generally though i would not be as concerned if my wife was able to turn fsd beta off for her profile and the issue would go away however that is not how it works even just basic tacc does the phantom braking with fsd option completely disabled in the menu potential solution ship beta alongside the standard autopilot suite so owners can fall back to a known good product when they want to give their vehicle knuckles a break other issues he discusses are this first high beams constantly flashing oncoming traffic at night they are objectively subpar and are worse dangerous to oncoming vehicles and the part that i cannot agree with is that it's enabled by default there are other issues associated like returning you to your stats uh, state before you enabled fsd that means high beams usually manually turned on enable fsd turn off high beams disable fsd high beams turn on automatically 
The second other issue is I can no longer manage speed in FSD beta, particularly deceleration when entering a slower speed limit zone, because although the scroll wheel does change my desired speed, the vehicle does not slow down within a reasonable distance. For instance, speed limit goes from 55 to 45. I preemptively scroll the wheel well before the sign. However, the vehicle continues at 55 maybe 54 with no feedback that indicates it's actually respecting my set speed limit this is bad for two reasons first speeding tickets and second have to hit the brakes and then re-engage fsd beta and then he concludes saying there are smaller issues that many have already reported about and i can go uh, forgive many of those since this is a beta in general my forgiveness is rather high as i myself am in the software industry however these items i have highlighted above just make fsd too much work for me and add too much stress to my life and my wife's he says thanks for reading this far you are my hero and Edith says, I certainly don't mean to belittle all the hard work and dedication by the engineers at Tesla. So thank you, you all, for your hard work, Tesla team. And by the time I finished presenting this to you, now this article already has 577 comments. So highly discussed. I will have the link in the description of this video, friends, so you can see and participate maybe in the discussions. But if you guys have Tesla FSD, please let me know. Are you overly satisfied or as is any one of you thinking to leave fsd beta which is against the stream right now and i'm not saying that's a bad thing and uh, or uh, are there any issues that uh, you think are too many for you too much for you and this is why you are considering leaving tesla full self-driving beta let me know in the comment section below please this is armin harian from talknews.com god bless you everyone peace be with all of you give us thumbs up if you found this report informative and let's move on to the next tesla story